Hey y'all, it's Kwi. Um, Welcome Raw family. Today we're doing something a little differently. It's going to be a little split screen type of action going on where we are going to do a competition and the competition is going to be based off of questions that we've generated. Me and Mitch have known each other for a long time, but I think that these questions are really good ones that are going to challenge us to test who knows each other more. And so sheesh we have these questions i have the questions right here i'm gonna go through honestly i can say that i feel like i know mish pretty well so we're gonna see how it turns out but let's get right in i think my bucket big bucket big bucket big just kidding um okay so i have my notes too because i don't remember the questions i can't remember all of them from the top of my head but you ready? Let's go. If you want it, you can get it. Here we go. I, I, I. So usually when I'm stressed, what I do is I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about what's stressing me. So I take a nap. I go to sleep. Um, but when I wake up and I'm conscious and have to face whatever it is that's stressing me, all I could do was pray. Um, a queer deals with stress by just stopping. Like she takes a full pause. Like when she's stressed, she just like takes a moment. Okay, I deal with stress by taking some time to myself and really just talking through it. Yeah, I just talk through stress. And I usually don't stay stressed for too long. I honestly just, once I think through something, it's over with she deals with stress by i would say that michelin when she's stressed she either journals it out um <laughs> i can't be answering all of these with like three different options i know but journals or sleeps yeah hairstyle too wear oh braids all day every day give me that like any type of braids any length of braids honestly i like long braids though to be honest but braids are my favorite hairstyle her favorite hairstyle oh this is tough but i'm gonna say either a slick back pony with some sort of like braid or something or long box braids um Honestly, my all-time favorite hairstyle, and I'm I need you to drop a pic right here next to it, is the half up, half down. I don't think it's a hairstyle I have done like that one. Her favorite hairstyle to wear is always a slick do. Like, I think that for her, like, whether it's slick up, slick down, slick natural hair, but it's a slick something. That's that's what I'm gonna say about it. If I were a celebrity, I would want to be famous for singing. And I don't even know if too many people know that, but I would say that I have a pretty decent singing voice. Um, and if I was to be a star, um, I would wanna be a singer. I wish that I had the voice um, like Jasmine Sullivan, cause if I had a voice like Jasmine Sullivan, you couldn't tell me nothing, I would be singing these answers right now to you if a queer was a celebrity she would be a celebrity for talking and her personality because she just never stopped talking and she has like a personality that everybody loves um if i were a celebrity i would be a celebrity for my humor <laughs> um yeah my 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 comedic essence would be what i would be a celebrity for if she were a celebrity, she would want to be famous for, hello, hello, Kevin Hart, I have your replacement on the line. Honestly, she would be a comedian. And if, if I'm going to get any answer correct out of this whole thing, it better be that one. I would say that my fashion style is less focused on um, colors and more so on prints, patterns, textures, like when I think about making statements, I would much rather make a statement with um, 
something that the fabric is doing so let's say that the arms are doing something different or that the, it's leather or there's like a print on it that's like the type of um things that i look for with my fashion i would also say that my fashion style is minimalistic um and i like to think that it is um the type of style that would like fare well across time and i'm always thinking it needs to give luxury um her fashion style i would describe aquia's fashion style as fashion forward um she also gives me very versatile vibes um Um, my fashion style, I kind of like to describe it as versatile, like spicy, you can switch it up, tone it up, switch it down. That's how I describe it. But very like chic, classic, trendy. That's me. <laughs> Micheline's fashion style is... I would say her fashion style is bold. I would also say that it's daring. My sis is a stylist, like on her website, get styled by her. Then it's also a mixture between like sporty. So she has two sides, right? It's a mixture between like grown and sexy and chill and sporty. If my personality were a color, I would say that it would be orange. And I say orange because I view myself as someone who's outgoing, um, full of energy, um, but also someone who needs time apart to be able to rejuvenate myself. But I think that I'm an upfront person. I think that my humor speaks for itself. So not necessarily a red or a yellow. Um, I do think I'm bright and like, you know, joyful and I do think that I'm bold. And so I think that a nice mixture in between would be right where I fall. So I give myself orange. Her personality color, she's gonna try to say some, I know what a queer thinks her personality color is, but to me, her personality is red. It's like a queer. For the most part but sometimes it could be like burgundy because she could be like chill sometimes but she's generally very like mm -hmm. um if my personality was a color this is tough mm. honestly i would say yellow bright vibrant inviting yeah yellow if her personality were a color, her personality would be red. Her personality is can't miss. Her personality is in your face. Her personality is bold. Her personality is beautiful. It's funny. It's honestly a stop sign. It's a stopper. You're going to stop in your tracks because that's her personality. So I would say red. Um, which parent am I most similar to? Honestly, I have qualities of both of my parents, but if we are going to talk temperament, if you ask anybody um, in my family that they would say that I am similar to my father. Daddy's girl in the building. Um, Aquia is most like her mom. Like if she says something else, she doesn't, I don't believe that. Like her mom is also very goofy and like fun and vibrant. Um, and her dad is like that too, but he's more like chill. Her dad is more like her brother, honestly. That's what I would say. Um, which parent am I most like? I like to think I'm most like my mom. because She's such a sweetheart and just loving, open to people. But I'm more like my dad. He just lives for comedy. And my dad never meets a stranger. So I like to think I'm like my mama more, but I'm a lot more like my dad. But of course I have a mix of the two of them. Yeah. Hands down her dad, Papa Maurice and Micheline literally copy paste. Like if you ever want to know where she gets her humor from, from where she gets like her smooth talking from, where she gets her audacity from is Papa Maurice. I'm not a morning person. And so 
if you give me say 9 30 or 10 a.m as a wake-up time like i'm not complaining to you um ideal time to start her day if a queer could have it her way um she would have breakfast in bed brought to her around 11 30 a.m and she wouldn't arise until noon uh, ideal time to start my day i consider starting my day like when i wake up if i could ideally have this um i would say nine nine a.m not too early a, a little late but nine um, the time that she wakes up, my sis is an early bird. And so honestly, an ideal time for her to wake up, I would say like between the hours of six and seven, where the early bird catches the worm. Roddy Rich, Roddy Rich, Roddy Rich, or Pop Smoke. I can't believe they took my shorty Pop Smoke. Like, I can't believe they did that for real. Like, dang, they dead took Pop Smoke. This is a tough one for me because if you know anything about Micheline and I, it's that we listen to Roddy Rich and Pop Smoke on repeat all the time. Love them. So, now I'm playing. I pick Roddy Rich. That's my final answer. Oh, Roddy or Pop. This is tough for queer also. But I'm going to say she said Roddy. She's been listening to the Roddy album for a year straight now. Uh, Roddy Richard Pop Smoke? Why would you ever ask me that? Um, I literally love them both. But I'm gonna go with Roddy only because we can get more new music from Roddy, but that was a tough one. I think that she's different for me in this one in that hers would be, nope, scratch that. We're the same. I'm gonna say Roddy Rich for her as well. Simple pleasures would have to be one of them. Oh, I know that there are gonna be some people who resonate with this, but when I have someone, someone else oil my scalp for me, like, <laughs> I'm in heaven. Like, I can honestly fall asleep if anyone's oiling my scalp, playing my scalp, anything. I don't know if that's really what we meant by simple pleasure, but it is one of my simple pleasures, so I'm going to choose that. And then I'd say that another simple pleasure of mine is getting my nails done, which I don't have them done right now, but they're going to be done soon. <laughs> it's Her simple pleasures, reading and napping. Simple pleasure is very simple. Candles. I absolutely love candles and coffee. Candles or coffee are the two things I'm just like, ah, God, that's so creative. I always bring wine when I'm coming over. So <laughs> she's like, I got some wine, bring wine, let's get wine, we could drink wine, whatever. So I'm gonna say a simple pleasure for hers is drinking wine. And then I'm going to say that another, another simple pleasure, simple pleasure. Oh, she likes to watch stand-up comedy. If I could move to any city right now, it would have to be London, mate. You get me, like, my London babes in it. So that's a no-brainer. I don't know if Mish was going to think I was going to say something domestic, but it's the London for me. If she could move to any city, well, she's going to have to move to California, but she would also do Dallas or Houston. Um. Okay, if I could move to any city, anybody who knows me knows this, I would move to Dallas. Micheline loves Atlanta, so she don't want to move nowhere outside of Atlanta. Um, but I do, I do know that she said that if she was, if she was to go anywhere, um, it would be to Texas outside of Atlanta. So I'm gonna say Houston, Beyonce or Rihanna. Why we gotta pit two bad sisters against each other? But Beyonce, because I don't listen to Rihanna as much. So I'm gonna say as much as Beyonce. So I'm gonna say Beyonce. Be Beyonce or Rihanna? I'm gonna go with Rihanna for Queen. Ugh. Uh, overall, I'm gonna go with Rihanna because I think 
she had one skill, one talent, switched it up on us and showed us her other brilliance. And I just love a multifaceted woman. I think Beyonce is also, but Rihanna really been stepping in some bags here lately and she's just so, she's an inspiration. I, I'ma say B. Brunch or dinner, easy, brunch me. Give me the time and place, I'm there, brunch and babes. Brunch or dinner, Aquia's definitely picking brunch. Yeah, she picking brunch. Brunch or dinner, that's easy. We're going to brunch. That's it. The girls want brunch. Brunch or dinner, easy peasy lemon squeezy brunch. Okay, is that even a real question? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to say that something that always puts a smile to my face when I'm complimented on is my style. If somebody sees and appreciates that, like to me, I'm like, Her favorite compliment is her, when you compliment her abs. Sis got a fire body, a banging body, body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Favorite compliment, I have two. <laughs> One is my smile. <laughs> and two is that I'm funny. So if you tell me those two things, then you said all you need to say. Favorite compliment is, okay. I'm gonna say two, and I know I'm gonna get both of these right, but her favorite compliment is complimenting her on her humor. She loves when you tell her she's funny, honestly. But I'm gonna say that another new favorite compliment is complimenting her on her smile. And she has a beautiful one. So the first thing I do when I wake up, honestly, nothing. Like I've made a conscious effort of trying not to be on my phone when I first wake up. And so at least for like the five, 10 minutes when I first wake up. And honestly, a lot of it is me trying to convince myself to just get up, but it's really me just laying there. Um, First thing she does when she wakes up, I think is the devotional also, devotional praise. And then she texts me. <laughs> um, First thing I do when I wake up, Hmm. I start my day with my devotional. It's the first thing I do. I know I got them all right. I just know I did. When she wakes up, I'm gonna say that girl pick up her phone because I'll be waking up and it's like it's 7 a.m. and I already got a text message. So I don't know what she be doing over there. I I know Mish pretty well. So. I know I got them all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, if you guys were playing this game along with us, let us know how many you guys got correct for each person. And also um, like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 subscribe, share, subscribe. Um, and join us next time on The Raw.